I got a fucking phone call, so I have to edit this video. Showers, never take that for granted. Standing up, <laughs> standing up in general, never take it for granted. That's my bed, making that noise. Um. Life in general is just, everybody has their reasons and whatever as to why their life is hard for them. And I, I appreciate everybody's reasons. I, we're all just trying to live our own way, our own life, just trying to get by out in the way that we can to the best of our abilities while we are on this rock that's just hurtling through space at super speeds. And, and that's all you can do is your best, even when it's hard. And I will never ever, I think it's changed me a lot, you know, <laughs> being so large and such a different kind of a person other than other people you see normally. I used to, I used to look at, at people like, not celebrities, but like just normal people. Um, and like envy them, not for looks, but for their ability to just seem to live a normal life. <laughs> and that's another thing I'm working on is getting myself out of that mindset. Is taking myself out of that. You know, I just, I have to be thankful and grateful for my own life. I don't like that envy um, for that person's ability to move easier than I move, I need to find the, the beauty in my own life, you know what I mean? Like, I've, I'm not homeless, I've got, um, Um, you know, I've got somewhere to sleep. Um, I've, I've got a beautiful child who has nothing wrong with her. Um, got great friends granted they are internet friends but it's only that way because they live so far away <laughs> um, I can still stand up at 900 pounds I don't weigh that now I'm almost about 700 pounds now I um Other people may not have that. Being living, trying to sitting around and and being jealous or whatever is does me no good. I don't think it does anybody any good because really, what <laughs> what comes out out of that? Nothing. Nothing comes out of it. I should have done these just acrylics. I should have just done them acrylics. 
but I don't have my acrylic powder in here. <laughs> so, I don't know if I said that in the beginning of this video, but I can't venture outside of this room. <laughs> and I know people are like, oh my God, you have to live in one room? Yes, <laughs> you're right. One room, just one. And that's fine because that's not gonna be forever. It's just for now. But my <laughs> my helper got my um, my man toiletry bag, and I just I didn't have her get my train case with all my acrylic stuff in it. I probably would have been real mad at myself if I did get it because it just makes me cough and makes me itchy and it so. There's some sort of silver lining somewhere. I'll find it. <laughs> I'll find it. Can you tell that I'm not really that great at talking and um, doing things at the same time? I could probably chew gum and, and talk at the same time. <laughs> What's that saying? can't walk and chew gum at the same time. Well, I can't <laughs> talk, talk about stuff and, and do this at the same time. So get ready, ready. The, if I do a makeup, get ready with me, then that's, for that, for that one, I'm going to do probably another Q and A. Um, I should have had an, a better, a better outline for this one, but the reason I didn't do an outline is because like I said, as I was trying to make the note for it, um, oh, itching feels so much better now. <laughs> you know? Um, the outline, you know, like I said, it was just like, blah 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 and then I would think of something else and think of something else I gave up I just I gave up and it was kind of all over the place when I talked about it too it was just I should have just said eight months of your life is a long time to be in the hospital at the end like <laughs> I tried my best and and it's another thing when you know because a lot of people have somebody to advocate for themselves a lot of people to advocate for what they do and you know it's like it's hard and it's not why does that look like that <laughs> why I haven't done my nails in so long that now they just look like garbage because I've, I've, I've lost my abilities to do things So they have people to advocate for themselves. They have somebody to say, if something's not going right now, they have somebody to come in and be like, something's not going right, fix it. And then they can all talk to each other. In my case, it's not like that. It's not like that at all. It's, um, It's, it's me, I'm the advocator. Um, and so, therefore, sometimes it doesn't go like I want. And sometimes it takes, it would take a lot longer. There were like t two times where I was like, um, like I had to threaten them. <laughs> Do I need to call my mom? Which sounds dumb. 
<laughs> like a kindergarten. Like a kindergarten fight. I'm gonna tell my mom. But like, what the fuck? <laughs> And then things would get taken. I'm I'm filing my thumb. I know it's got nail glue on it. But it would get shit done if I would just say I'm gonna bring in a third party to try to help us get to the bottom of this problem. They would be like, okay, well, well, let's just figure it out ourselves. I never want to be around people that long where there has to be conversations like that. Something else that this world, this hospital shit has taught me is that <laughs> I don't ever want to be around an institution or something like that where I have to get like advocate for myself. You know what I mean? Like I just want to be home and I'm home. <laughs> I'm home. I'm doing these jacked up nails in my own home. Sure, I'm in a hospital bed in the middle of the living room. But I'm home. I'm home. I can vape it up right here in the middle of this room. Because I'm fucking home. I'm just... It's just so, life has a well, funny way of like just showing you humility and it's just, you know, I don't know. I hope that this hasn't seemed like a, a me talking to you about, uh, about things like an old like, like Splinter the Rat. Is that his name? Yeah, Splinter. On the Ninja Turtles. You know how he was like an old rat? And he was just talking very wise and old. <laughs> I hope that that's not like what you see here. I'm just trying to just say what I went through and, and whatever. And now it's over. It's fucking over. And unless my leg is actively falling off or I'm actively dying, I will never go back to a hospital. Ever. Ever again. It's the fucking worst. <laughs> the fucking worst. Anyways, I've decided not to put on, not to paint anything yet. I uh, have I have an appointment with my physical therapist. I still have to exercise and they make me use weights and I can do weights with these nails, but I don't want to mess up the polish. You get the idea. Yada, yada, yada. And I think this is like, a, this has had to be two videos put together into one because potential spam called me from New York and I'm not doing that because potential spam wasn't potential spam, but phone calls knock the thing off. And my, my camera that I would record with <laughs> is in my bedroom. But again, I'm too fat to get in there. <laughs> I'm too fat to get in there. So I'm going to just do it like this. I, you are on a tripod right now though. Um, I'm going to have to, when I do my sets, which is something else I wanted to bring up, is I'm going to be doing sets again. Um, for a while, I will have to be my own photographer. And so, I had to get a little tripod and a uh, clicker, you know, a Bluetooth clicker. So, we could take pictures from far apart, far apart, far away. Even with the clicker... I mean, even with the selfie stick and the long handle, it's still not far enough <laughs> to catch my gigantic being in one picture. So, how to get a clicker. 
Anyways, thanks for watching me do these janky ass nails. I love that they're on though. It makes me feel prettier. And I'm looking pretty not pretty these days. No, that wasn't me fishing for compliments. I really just don't think that I'm, I'm pretty right now. <laughs> I've got this oxygen tube on. It makes me feel like I'm 3,000 years old. I never have pants on, ever. <laughs> just, <laughs> my life is a little crazy right now. But these nails, no matter how janky they are, and especially when I've got them all painted, they make me feel prettier. So, thanks for uh, coming in for an hour and watching me try to make myself prettier with fake nails, but not even acrylics, they're just nails. <laughs> Thank you guys. Love you guys.